what's up everyone we're back for episode two and we're going to be talking about what normally would be our annual pilgrimage to japan which unfortunately this year is not happening because of covid and travel restrictions yeah i think everybody out there we're all in the same boat you know we've been locked up haven't been able to travel like us many of you have travel plans that have fallen through and one of them for us you know we didn't have it planned yet but every year we go to japan and we'd be packing up right now to head there yeah I'm pretty bummed to not be going they're getting a ton of snow and right now we are not and it look outside and there's not a lot of snow on the ground if any i've been biking for the last few days so yeah, pretty much in mountain biking and taking avalanche courses since uh our trip to washington that you guys saw i mean this is a trip that we just do with our buddies you know we went with eight friends last year three of them it was their first time ever being there and i think brian's gonna interview them and get their take i know for us it was my third year going um brian it was his second and it's just one of those trips that that brings you back and for us you know i think anybody out there that's really into skiing and snowboarding you know like you see in the magazine you ski in it, every ski film whether it's warren miller or level one or whatever it is that you watch they go to japan and it just looks magical so i think for us it's always been on the bucket list it was always one of the top items on my list for skiing and i was stoked to check it off the list but now i keep going back because it holds true to everything you see snow is consistent the food's amazing the people are awesome it's tough to beat and that's why we keep going back year after year take a break this year hopefully go back next year yeah definitely looking forward to it and it's just one of those trips that you know you can plan it in july you can be sitting on the beach drinking your coors light or whatever it is and you can plan a trip if you go for seven days or longer you're almost guaranteed that you're going to ski some of the best deepest snow of your life and so i think that that's, it makes it easy, right? We can get together with friends, plan dates, and and not worry and stress about whether it's gonna be full of fruit ice the whole time. Last year, we spent a few weeks over in Japan, and we started off the trip with a couple days in Tokyo. It's always nice to kind of explore the city since it's not a big city here in Tahoe, and we don't get to spend a lot of time in any big cities. So it's cool trying to trying out the different food and seeing all the different sites and seeing the history that the city has and really getting a chance to explore and see something that you normally don't. So it's nice to spend a few days there before heading up north to Hokkaido. Yeah, and feel like a little bit more of the true culture of Japan versus just, you know, the mountain culture, which that's what's so awesome about skiing and snowboarding is you know, you instantly can find such a great community. But also, you know, seeing that authentic uh, portion of Japan is, it's rad. And if you're gonna spend the time to go over there, I highly recommend it. The first few days while we were over there, we spent our time shooting video with uh, Matt Cook, AKA Ski Chef, who if you follow on Instagram, you know is an amazing follow cam videographer and videographer. Uh, he used to work for GoPro. He's shot for a ton of different athletes and brands throughout the ski industry, and we were lucky enough to yeah. ski with him. Yeah, do a little shooting with him to, to kick off the trip and um, offset the cost a little bit and, you know, get some sick shots, which is always fun. Yeah.
So yeah, we spent the rest of the trip skiing with our buddies. It was great to just ski pal, shoot a couple photos, and spend some time at the little resorts, ski in the backcountry. You can see some of the photos that we got here, and just enjoy the time with our friends. It's the main reason we go on this trip every year is to get out with best friends, yeah. ski partners, and truly enjoy Japan. Well, uh, I mean, who doesn't want to go to Japan, right? Uh, you see it in all the movies, and it just looks all time. And you know, all the all the homies have been going for years, and it just kind of the stars align. So I really made it happen. It was my number one bucket list, and uh, just stoked that uh, I was able to go with such a cool group of guys. Ah, you got to say the pal. I mean, pal was ridiculous. Um, and just the accessibility to all those sick backcountry zones from the resorts just made it so easy. And um, yeah, it was, and the great crew, it, it totally made the trip. Oh, what made me want to go to Japan? Well, I've got these two really close friends, Brian and Kyle from childhood, and they couldn't stop telling me about how awesome Japan was. And so eventually they're like, we're booking flights. And I'm like, I'm booking a flight too. We're gonna go ski pal. What do I miss most about Japan? Gosh, the whole trip was dreamy. Number one, I look back and I'm like, did we even go? Is that real or was I just dreaming? Um, probably being out in the back country with the whole crew we went yeah, with. Uh, just hiking around and it's magical. Literally, like you're in the deciduous trees with no leaves, massive amounts of snow caked on to all of them. Absolutely exceeded expectations. Had a fantastic time. We'll definitely be going back. And we had such a solid crew this year of, of just like really good friends, everybody on the same page. And like, even when you're at home, it's, it's hard to get that many people together. Um, and go ski together. So to get everybody on the same page with no schedule conflicts and, and just go ride pow and like you couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, I'd say overall it was the trip you need every year. Yeah. So it's a bummer to not get to do it this year. But if you guys want to know a little bit more about planning a trip to Japan and kind of some of the stuff that we've done since we I think we've got it dialed now and we've got it pretty on lock with everything. Uh, let us know down in the comments down below. Uh, like, share, subscribe, do the whole YouTube stuff that everyone else does and says. Because still a rookie with this. So <laughs> thanks again. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah. See you later. How you doing there, Brian? I'm good. Did you come down that hillside? Yeah. How's the creek bed? Do you need those turtles? I need those turtles. <laughs> the, tur the turtle butt pads? That would have been nice. <laughs>